Let's try to understand ERC20 in more detail. Smart contracts were becoming more popular in 2015, but several issues needed to be addressed at that point of time. And because anyone could make a token anywhere around the world. However, there wasn't a way to ensure that all of these different tokens could be created, used or exchanged. Without a standardized methodology for the token, Every application could have its own token and user could need to find a way to convert that token into another token so they can use into different platform. Right now we have popular tokens which follow ERC20 standards like Siba U, Binance, DAI, USDT, USDC. These are the couple of popular tokens we have currently in regulation so users are buying and selling. ERC20 was proposed by developer Fabian Steller in 2015 as a way to standardize the token within a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. Steller submitted the proposal on the Gather page as an Ethereum request for comment ERC and then it came into existence as a standardized method for ERC20 for all the tokens which run on Ethereum blockchain. ERC20 contains several important functions and even that a token must implement. Keep that in mind that the standard also govern action the contract take for the token being created the minimum of the functions and information needed in the ERC20 so these are the couple of important functions has to be there in this ERC20 like total supply balance of transfer transfer form approve allowance transfer approval so these are the important function has to be there which follow the ERC20 standard for creating token